Hey everyone, I'm James and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about long exposure photography and its practical applications. Now in its most basic form, long exposure photography is just keeping the shutter open slightly longer than you normally would to obtain a correct exposure and there's a number of reasons that you might want to do this. So generally speaking the most common reason you do this is to make water look what we call soft or like it's in motion. And this works particularly well for streams or waterfalls, especially if it's got white water or fast moving water in it. Now sticking with the water theme it can also help reduce surface movement on a large still body of water, such as a lake, and it really helps to bring out the reflections over a long exposure. Additionally, long exposures only pick up subjects that are static over the exposed period. So a long exposure can be a really useful way of removing subjects from an otherwise exceptionally scenic location. So if somewhere is very busy, you can use it to remove the people, giving you just the landscape. Long exposures are also exceptionally popular with landscape photographers who use it to soften the sky or again make it look like the clouds are in motion. And this can give you some very striking and surreal effects. And then finally, at night, long exposures can be used to capture moving lights or to create star trails as the Earth rotates on its axis. Now the problem with a lot of the techniques that have just been shown is they often require long exposures, sometimes up to 30 seconds in direct and strong sunlight, and even with an aperture as small as it will go, and an ISO as low as it will go camera is still going to receive too much light and at best you're going to blow out the highlights or more commonly you're just going to end up with a white unusable image. So we solve that when we're shooting in daylight hours or strong sunlight by using one of these which is an ND or neutral density filter and essentially this is just a dark piece of glass that screws onto the front of your lens reduces the amount of light getting into the camera and that allows these longer exposures that we've just been seeing. Now I've used a number of different filters in the past from various different companies and whilst they very successfully reduce the amount of light they often do so at the expense of image quality and in particular colour quality. So they dye your images either a magenta or a very dark shade of blue and that's very difficult to remove in post-processing. Now I recently discovered a company called Breakthrough Photography who have gone right back to the drawing board, redesigned the filter and they claim to have made the world's sharpest and most colour neutral filters currently on the market. This is a huge claim, so I contacted them for some samples. I've been testing their filters for the past three months and I'm really excited to report they function exactly as described. It's not clever advertising, it really does work. I've never used such a colour neutral filter. Watch the rest of the video, read some reviews, see what you think. Personally, if you forgive the pun, I think it's a bit of a breakthrough. <laughs>